Look at James rocking that bass. Six days before this, he's never touched a guitar in his life. And he's like so many kids at New City Kids who are just waiting to discover what they were meant to do. How does this happen? How do you teach all these kids instruments in just one week to the point where they can do outreach services on their own and play at churches in front of 800 people? It's so amazing and yet so simple. It's our teaching philosophy called Bring Magic. It really starts with our New City Network's theme verse from 2 Timothy 2 verse 2, which says, And the things that you've heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. And you see it has a kind of cascading logic to the verse where Paul is speaking to Timothy, who is meant then to find reliable people who themselves will be able to teach others. And then there's this bonus level, these witnesses who've been watching this transfer of leadership on down the line. And this is what happens at New City, and it's what happened at Real Hope and all the organizations that we work with. So it starts really on day one when we teach our secret sauce, bring magic, which is our teaching philosophy. So we teach the adults of Real Hope how to teach and how to pretty much do the whole New City Kids package. And then level two is they begin to teach their own teenagers how to do everything that we've just taught them. And like all the stories you've heard, they have to try to stay one or two lessons ahead of the teens they're teaching. And then the teens on day three or four, they have to go out and use everything they've learned to teach younger kids in the community, the songs they've learned and also how to play the instruments. And again, they're just trying to stay one or two lessons ahead of the kids. But this is why we can do it in just a few days. And then there's this other level, which I love, and it's the bonus level where all these kids around the edges, they've been watching, they've been listening, and almost by osmosis, they're getting all this music in them. And at Real Hope, a bunch of these little kids, they were not about to be left out. So they went and found buckets and sticks, and they started their own drum lesson, trying to imitate the beats they were hearing. And you might wonder, how is this gonna help kids who are dealing with issues of hunger and homelessness and, and, and unemployment really make it in life? It's just music. But see, that's the thing. The whole new city project is based on the premise that if you can have this moment of discovery, if you can change your mind about yourself and believe that God made you for a purpose and that you can do things you never thought possible, then your environment is not the most important factor in your life. You can begin to be an agent of change and you can begin to overcome and see yourself differently. And this has wave after wave of effect on all the parts of your life. And we saw it in just 10 days in Kenya. And I'm so excited to keep doing it because I know it works. I know it works everywhere we go. We can't solve all the problems, but we can begin to have kids look at themselves differently and then look at their environment differently.